Thank you for joining us. Uh, we are uh, right now following along as the crew are working through their procedures to open up the hatch uh, at the uh, uh, International Space Station side and the Starliner side. Now, what you're seeing is a live view from inside the Starliner spacecraft. No one is inside, but that is the anthropometric uh, um, uh, test device uh, called Rosie. Uh, Rosie is seated inside the Starliner right now. You can see the hatch is closed. We're going to be covering the operations to get that hatch open. Now, being that this is a brand new spacecraft, um, the safety goggles are a protective measure, including masks. You can see they're about to don the masks right now. Uh, as they open up the hatch, uh, this protects the astronauts against any what's called FOD, uh, foreign object debris. The uh, CST uh, station, APAS hatch is open and uh, no condensation is seen. Houston copies, no condensation. All right, and it looks like the hatch is open to the Starliner. We're getting uh, Bob Hines is the first uh, astronaut to enter Starliner in orbit, successfully opening up the hatch, this view coming from the Starliner itself. That hatch opening time was 11.04 a.m. Central Time. And we're getting a new view now. Uh, as you mentioned, Rebecca, four cameras inside uh, the Starliner spacecraft. We're now getting a view of uh, Chell Lindgren, Bob Hines, and Rosie the Rocketeer, uh, all in the same shot. Uh, you can even see the zero-G indicator there in the back. Rosie is definitely representative of the entire team that's been working toward this moment. Um, you know, Rosie's motto is, we can do it, and she definitely did it, and so did the Starliner.